very good. Now, you fi this feels very different, yes. yes. And the prospect of having to play the movement like that is very different suddenly because your pacing, your sense of pacing is very slow suddenly. And so anything that grows or diminishes is slow. Try and avoid this romantic thing of delaying a chord, pulling back and all that. It's not about that. This music is, it's like an opening ritual. Okay, so it has to have this steady quality. Um, the way I practice quite often is without the semiquavers, just the chords. I practice the, let me show, I practice the chords by themselves because I want to get to know the piano, but also just to get into the... It's just your background though, isn't it? Yeah. This, that, that's all it's doing, it's a bell background. So. This is hard. <laughs> very sort of free and easy and everything like that that's fine but it was too slow the first time you played it yeah. to me. it's much better if you just let it just just let it, just let it go let's go on you see can i just say a word about programming this movement as well yeah. out in the real world you know away from exams and auditions and all that kind of thing you have to think how can you present a movement which is as dense and as complex as this in an ordinary recital Mm. program and actually just playing it on its own won't work because for most audiences who won't have encountered necessarily any messian let alone this movement it doesn't make any sense to them they'll mm. sit there amazed by your playing but baffled by the music yeah mm. and you have to find a way of allowing them into the music before you hit them with this so it might be a very good idea for you to learn to go with it one of the um, quieter mm -hmm. or, or ones which lay out some of this material but not in such a frenetic way oh, because really i know i know i know when you're young you just want to show what a great technique you've got and how you can play brilliantly and all that kind of thing but for an audience they're sort of amazed but left behind by music like this yeah so so if you could think about learning one of the more um, rounded ones or tender ones. See, this, this number 11, which we're just about to hear, would go very well, although it's, although it's the wrong, wrong way around. Number four, which we played. There are lots of ones which are simpler, quieter, utterly related, and will bring the audience in, and then you can play this. Do you have two feet, you, you know, because it's very difficult. You've got, ooh, left hand, ah, now my right hand, oh, you know, but actually, why not just sort of help you know it, yeah i mean just make it more equal and then you've got this you can think about the balance of how you're going to you know cope with it i think that's better because i've seen so many pianists go oh my god that didn't work oh no that's terrible you know 